I need to talk to you about something exceptionally serious, the zombie apocalypse. Now, <clears throat> it's going to be carnage, really, really bad. But as designers, there's something that we can do about that. We're going to design an infographic. Come, let me take you through the various stages from drawing up your zombie, through to putting it into Illustrator, through to making the final infographic with the information right there for the public. Come, as designers, we will save the world. Now, the first thing that you'll need to create your zombie or to draw your zombie is some idea of what you want it to look like. Now, I've had a long, hard think about this, and in my mind anyway, the typical zombie is going to, in traditional zombie form, have his arms out the front so he doesn't walk into anything. The thing though about a zombie is they don't have their arms up and their fingers out like that. There doesn't seem to be any muscles in their wrists, so they just drop down like that. So that's the first thing. My zombie is going to have its arm out like that, walking forward like so. The problem with that is if you stand and you have your arms out, and especially if you're half dead, well, you tend to just tip over forwards. So I need to balance out my drawing. And the way I'm going to do that is to actually tilt the zombie backwards a bit. Now once again you can see if I tilt backwards like that, it doesn't look like a zombie at all. So I'm introducing an S curve into my zombie. So what I'll do is, arms out the front, the back will start to curve round, but to compensate the legs are going to come forward. And of course he's going to be walking so we need one leg out at the same time. Have a look at the drawing, see what you think, and create your own zombie. Right, so we're into the drawing now, and I've started off by dividing my zombie into four parts. I'm doing the head about a quarter the size of the body. It gives it that almost childlike, um, well, some people say monster-like, monster children, maybe the same thing. Um, childlike feel. I also did the spine and I'm now just roughing out the sort of areas around the, the body. Getting the sort of feel for, as you can see, the feet and the legs in there, checking my lengths on them. And then I'll go in and do the arms once again, just fairly roughly roughing out the head. Now, what I'm doing is I'm working in pencil, and I tend to work with mechanical pencils. I absolutely love my Rotring pencils. I use a Rotring 800. And it's just a beautiful object in its own right. It's quite solid and quite heavy, and that's what I like from a, a pencil. I use uh, 0.5s, which is what I'm using there, and 2 millimeters as well. Now, you'll notice the way that I work is I do lots of little lines. That's just my style of drawing. Lots and lots of little lines building up to the whole feel of it. All right, a few more details in there. Starting to put a little bit of clothes onto it. I'm very aware of gravity all the time. And you can see how with the clothes, some of the bits that are sticking out, the, the rough edges on the edge of his trousers, they tend to hang down. Likewise, I'm thinking in terms of gravity with the hands, where they're going down. I tend to look at my own hands quite a lot when I'm drawing to get a feel for the shape that I'm drawing, even though my hands obviously don't look quite like that. That's pretty close. Anyway, we're on to the second hand now. A few little fingers sticking out, give it that comical feel. Strange little thumb in there. The zombie's not mine, by the way. And some more detail into the feet as well. I like the little details, the little toes, the, the odd shaped nails. They just give a bit more character to the object. I do apologize for the bottom left hand corner. That's not a hairy spider. It's popping in. That's actually my head. Well, my hair actually. A few more details in there. Things like pockets, belts, loops, buckles, all those little things just make the difference between something which is acceptable and something which has just got a life of its own. A 
and I will just keep going over <clears throat> and over my lines until I get exactly what I want. You can see how the top of the body starts to change shape. I've got a larger rib cage, thinner stomach, because he's obviously hungry, had, had enough brains today. But I'll keep going round and round. Brilliant. Who doesn't like a good zombie? Anyway, mine is done. And the next stage, of course, is to take it into Illustrator. We're going to scan it in first and then redraw it using some of the pen tools. We're going to get some of those beautiful, beautiful vector lines.